So we're at the 2016 JT Fox Family Reunion 2. I have such pleasure to be talking with Richard Tan, founder of Success Resources. Now, Richard, in your presentation that you gave today, you spoke about the traits that you find most attractive in entrepreneurs to do business with. Could you just go through those again? I don't understand your question. Okay. So you, you mentioned that loyalty and providing value are the two things that enable someone to speak on your stage, oh. right? Are there any other values that people should look for when they're trying to do business with someone? I, I think uh, we, we promote many speakers around the world and uh, many people want to speak on our stage. Uh, basically, the f first priority is that the, the presenter or speaker must be able to deliver value. Now, our number one priority is not just business, but our one uh, priority is our customer, the participant. Now, they are our utmost concern. They must be able to, the, the speaker must be able to give them the value. Now, the second thing we look at, which is a little bit intangible, is whether the speaker are congruent. Like for example, if the speakers uh, uh, could be very good speaker on the stage, but they may not have the experience of the subject they are speaking about. Let me just give you an example. Somebody may speak on selling, but they might never have sold a single pencil in their life, right? So, but they are good stage men. Now, we, we take consideration on that. Uh, thirdly, is something that is even more intangible, which is... Uh, People like to work with people they like. So, you know, we must build a relationship and uh, then uh, it's easier to work with. So basically just three things. That's fascinating. You also spoke about what inspires you. You, uh, you had a bucket list. One of the things was getting a fist fight. One of them was, uh, what was it, have sex on a train. Um, I was wondering what inspired you to start Success Resources? I actually started Success Resources a bit by accident. Not that I'm very smart. I was laid off, and after being laid off, I have a friend that uh, volunteered me to help a non-profit organization run a conference. So after the conference, somebody says, you know, Richard, you're quite a good organizer. Why don't you do it full time? I say, why not, you know? So I haven't found a job, so I, I say, well, you know, I, I uh, so it was from that day to today that I, I got into this, uh, uh, business a bit by accident rather than I planned for it. You just did it. You just went out and you did it. Finally, when it comes to personal development, so your, your company has, is one of the biggest personal development uh, events companies in the world, what is the one piece of advice you would give to someone to help them improve themselves? Number one is that they must have the desire to improve. Sometimes, many times I hear uh, parents or husband or wife, they say, you know, I would like to bring, I would like to buy a, a, a ticket or a fee to encourage my husband to come. And many times they are disappointed because when the husband came, the husband was not ready to make changes. So the most important thing for somebody to develop is the desire to develop first, right? If they have no desire to develop, they can sit through and it was boring, it was uninspiring, but when they have this desire to want to be better, you can find a teacher almost everywhere. You can find lessons almost everywhere. And uh, personal development is one good way to shortcut your learning skill because you may take five years to learn a lesson yourself. But if you go to a seminar, you could learn it in one or two days and hence save four years of your life. Thanks so much, Richard. Thank you. Uh, just before we, we sign off, is there anything else that you feel our viewers should know? Well, I... Whatever you are pursuing right now, or whatever you are doing, don't give up, you know, don't quit, because the light may be just around the corner. So whatever you are pursuing, give your best and don't give up. Uh, so Richard 
runs uh, Success Resources, you can go to www.successresources.com. Uh, they're an international company, so somewhere in the world there'll be an event. Thanks so much. Thank you.